the little boy tell. The little boy tell me, the little boy say, him hold him down in the bush. I rape him. So we are dealing with a serial from, from an early age. And chances are he himself was molested. Hence the reason when we meet up with him and him say my 21, miss the father instinct kicked in. So me I say, one if I like a youth here, a victim too. And him victimized my youth. Because, come on. I'm not done some fool fool on it, you know. But when him tell me say my 21, me just find it like hard like 21, married, have children, look so old, it never match up. That's why I tell him call him mother for, for very five age. And then he realized say my 23. So he was four years older than my child. Now four years is a lot <laughs> when it comes down to a dealing a seven year old to an eleven or a twelve year old. That's not, that's not, that is not, there's not a small gap bridging. That is not two seven-year-old. You get them, they caught them. Two seven-year-old don't know nothing about me if you take, me if you take money off of you. Me if you extort you. And obviously, him fully developed. Even when you see him now, him look like him at 30. So, him was, I me still feel like him is not 23. I still feel like him a lie to me. I don't think him at 23. As a matter of fact, I'm quite sure he's not 23. Yeah, him not look like 23. I don't believe him at 23. I think him still a shave off one or two years. Yeah. Because it moved more fit, you know, into all oh, the Madid Pitney narrative. You see? So, yeah, when we feel good about the situation, and it's good, bad, ugly, sad, everything I have to do with it, we just feel some form of freedom for no sir. Nobody not going to ever trust him. Nobody will watch him interviews and watch when he exposed with him. Nobody will watch that and feel comfortable with him around them children. No real parent. Then put that away. Because still have some parents will leave them pitting around Mr. Handsome. Even though he get convicted of molesting a little boy. Alright? But no real parent is going to allow him around your children. Because the least we know him tell we say, he did a extort them all when he was 14. 14 year old? Yeah, Pitney right now has served life imprisonment in America for commit murder because they were, when they were 12, when they were 12. Commit all kind of crime when they were 12, 11, 13, those ages. And them tried them as adults. You understand? They tried them as adults because they are fully cognizant of what they are doing. You understand me? I say, so he posted from a page, go and look at it, Bridget, and go and watch the interview it did on Papa's channel on YouTube. Right? If you're a parent and you know this guy um, named Vanny and he's around your children, you have to sit your children down now and you have to ask them if him ever mess with you, know, if him ever tell you that you're going to get beaten if you talk, if you're going to get stigmatized if you talk, if you must. So you must pay him all of them things here. Alright? Not another shocking thing too. I'm going to tell you this now. The wickedest part of the world thing too. Because there's so much more in you know, the people. There's so much more in you know. There is so much more to the story you know. Alright? But some might have to leave off of social media. Some might going to have to be investigated. And I think so we have to get to the bottom of it as parents. We have to, you know, point in it. We have to get to the depth of it as parents. We can't watch don't still third people on social media and make a joke of this. This is not a joke. And he is not alone. This are the this a regular thing in a Jamaica. This are something this a major thing in a Jamaica. Remember the man telling you, you know. The man telling us same whole I'm friend them know about it, you know. If that, if that, we don't realize what's going on, you know. He's a can of worm, this, you know. The man say him, whole of him friend, the, the best thing him could have do for the parents, them, we, we care about them children, is come out, come talk. And him actually free, 
him give my son some freedom, him, some of the victims them triggered. But I saw it good, them just have to go get some therapy and just know them a sacrificial lamb, them save many lives. Me personally think that my youth and the other youth, they must share them story with me. Me think that they are a hero. Me think that they save some lives. Because me no want nobody got you when my son got you. My son stopped going to college. My son check in for kill himself. My son check in up all kind of deep tech medication. They want to take medication all kind of shit. So me no want that happen to our next youth. Right? Me think that my son is my hero. And the next youth, they must share it with me. Because now, they must go save other youth. Because we are dealing with a predator brethren. The man, the man said the whole time dog them no you know. How you think the dog thing go now? In speaking to one of the other victims, right? Him a victimizer you the friend man eleven. Take my son out of it you now. Hmm? Cause people will say, oh, Mr. Vegas and him son plan up this thing and we 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 you know go after this man. And Mr. Vegas son as we him say my son in a psychiatric ward, right? One of the other victims. I'm going to show you the man dangerous enough. Right? And at this I gather from speaking to the youth. I'm going to school. And tell him friend him in a food farm. At Monroe, said the youth a fish. Said him, exploit him, extort him, right? And tell him, say, this is our secret for you. Give you your lunch money, give you your mother money, give you this, give you that. The wickedest thing, I'm a friend, son, you know. Him have a bridge where man in power, right? According to the next youth, when he held him down and raped him at 11, see him? His friend went parried. Raped the youth. So both of them now start extort the youth. Him and him friend them at the school, I extort the youth, and him friend I extort the youth. Him friend I extort the youth for more sex. According to the reasonings, eh? We're wicked and we're sad. The youth told his mother. When it happened, we are talking about when I'm a minor and the boy them could have gone to prison. But guess what? Jamaica land we love. The mother was afraid, so people say her son a fish. She held it. That's sad. Imagine the guilt that she feels now as a parent when you say, yo, you couldn't talk because you know when people call your son fish. Alright? Just like how me talk and the master, I should I keep it private? I should I keep that to myself? No, I mean, I keep it to myself because if it were a girl pitney, we get molested, well, I wouldn't have welcome the information. I said, yeah, man, I'm wicked inside, you have them for dead. Because when I be a rape on them something then, and exploitation and extortion upon gender. I'm not based upon gender. Because the same reason why the youth continued to get violated until the boy they left man according to the youth. Because I extort the youth, I rape the youth according to the youth, and him and him friend find out say him get and God rape the youth too, according to the youth, according to the, 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 the information gathered. 
Han har inte kunnat vara det gjort mån i. Han har inte kommit till oss. Han har inte startat dem för tjur. Han har inte kommit till oss. Han har inte kommit till oss. Så han har inte kommit till oss. 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 But because the mother I try to protect her youth, it continued. You see, maybe she did go to the station and report it. Maybe the police them not do nothing. Maybe people are laugh or fine. Maybe people that maybe not hurt himself because they get stigmatized in the community. So it was fucking sad, Bridget. Jamaica land we love, welcome. What if I youth don't get that people? What if I youth don't get raped and molested and their parents no one can't talk? It's a new day, victims. We don't talk here, man. We will come stand up in a fire, we don't know. But then burn me too. Yeah, man. As long as I have a breath in my body. We don't talk. We will come stand in the fire, we don't know. Because when you don't talk, trust me, you allow your predator to go pray upon somebody else. When you don't talk, whether you're a boy or a girl, talk. There is no shame in being a victim. Talk. Because you know where you go through. So just imagine another human being that go through that. Talk. If you tell your mother or your father and them no one talk, find me. And talk. We will stand up in a fire with you. If they are born you, they are going to burn me up too. Because I stand up in front of you. If they are fire upon you, any bullet, I will be the first one to get the first shot. Talk. Talk. Don't make them continue in them predatorial ways. There's no shame in being a victim. Yeah. Just say to yourself, say, me is a martyr and me is a sacrificial lamb. But me go make sure, say, you're not trouble the next child. Just say that to yourself. Yeah, man. Just say that to yourself. Because you will go on now. You see the educated side of society. You see the 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 the, the side of society when no fit um think critical and have some form of plausibility to them reasoning, them know where I go on and them with you. Nobody watch you look at done said people them where run run and love table, fish this and fish that and fish this and rare. Can't guess what? They themselves may be victims as well. Them afraid to talk. So when we put up a smoke screen and put up a blockage for mask them own, you know, pain and sorrow and for them to go through. This is a way for them to, is there, is there own way of coping? You understand? This is a coping mechanism. You see? So don't pay attention to them. There are real people out in the world where will feel your pain, where will share your experience too. You understand what I say? There are people out there who, know, you know much people send me a message at them and say, yo, them wish they had a father like me because when they go through them shit, nobody never want to stand up with them. And me is not no hero. I don't know hero people. Me ain't no hero. Me just a father. Me just a father like you. Me just a father. Me not the best father neither. You understand me? I say, me not the best father. Trust me, my son's stepfather is a better father than me. Know that my, my, my son, my son's stepfather, is a way better father than me. You understand what I say? Yeah, because I'm seeing my son's life. You see? So, don't make these predators put anything in your head, say, people are going to call you fish, and people are going to this, and people are going to laugh after you, and all them something there. You are a victim, you are a victim, and we are going to survival mode now. Yeah, we are survivor. So we are going to survive this, right? Yeah.
¿sí? Eso. That away, my freedom start. Hopefully, the youth that might violated their freedom can start. And even if you don't want to talk, because you see him already get exposed. Like one of the victims said to me, he's going to get his day. Yeah. But me believe in that action. Me no believe say me believe say fear to don't works is dead. So me know him get him dear. But me want to help him to get him dear. You see what I say? Me want to help him get him dear. Me want it get in the court. And me want the victims them looking at him face so they might testify. Yeah. And if there are more victims and you don't want to mess up your life and you don't want and it's it a trigger. It's, 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 it's triggering whatever you went through. And you need some help. Reach out to me. Do you work in the right situation? Get you some real therapy. I if you don't feel like talk, because you know why your wife I don't say you get molested. Just know say, he's been exposed. If he did molest you, he has been exposed. The world, the real people them out there, the educated people them out there, the real parents them out there, them see and them hear and them know what's going on. So just know in yourself, say, yo, he got his day and he has more coming to him. So feel free today when you wake up or tomorrow when you wake up or whenever you wake up, know, say, his life of hiding behind extortion is about to you know, expire. His extortion ways is about to expire. Yeah. Because at least we know that he's a criminal based on his own words. So young. Yeah. And in my view, or in my opinion, or in my belief, aided by his mother. May I pray everybody in the story, you know, me all a pray all in granny. But used to make my son come over our yard. Yeah. Me a pray everybody in the show. You see? So, let's go and update man. And don't feel like we hide people. Don't tell us that we not hide. And anything we feel like we can share, you know. I will keep on posted. We not ease off. We... we we spoke on Mr. Handsome for about four or five years until everybody knew, say my predator. You mess with mine, your days is going to be a fucking hell. Me me can't come, come use a gun, but me I go use what me have. I'm going to be a fucking nightmare to you. You mess with mine. I see. May I go be a nightmare to you. You see? Yeah. Just know that. Alright? So, big up on the cell people. Keep an eye on the pitney. Because trust me. Some of we think so because we're out there and we are make money and all them things there. Eh? Some predators see we out there and make money and them use it as an opportunity to exploit your children by molesting them, by whatever with them, and then use that to take money off of them. I remember, you know, when you say, give me some money, you know. The money just done. And the mother said, don't give CJ any money. What is he doing with the money? Yeah. yeah. Just know that the money will take off of them, the 300 and the 500 that we are talking about. He will steal it out of grandmother shop for you. Yeah. And the little pocket money when we give him. Yeah. Just know, sir. You exploited me too. You extorted me too. So me and you at war until your blood clot. 
left your army, left ya. You see? And me, I got there for a good next 40 years. I am now the fucking thorn in your side. You can't escape my judgment. Because you mess with mine. You see? Know that. Anyway, you're there. Yeah? So some days, I'm just take up the video and play it back. And show it back. If I'm one person, I watch it. Because I guess what I know, say you, I watch it. You see? Yeah. Just know that. And just know say, as long as I perform on stage, I'm going to show love and give love to the victims then, and to my youth. And I'm going to make the world know say it's a fucking predator. So one day, you might just see me I walk down half a tree with your fucking poster. Vanny is a predator. You fucking mess with the wrong one. See? Yeah. Because you admit to me, say, when you are 17 or 18, you were molesting him. Remember you telling me that? Yeah. Remember you come to the world, so when you are 14, you extort them? Yeah. I would have you to 14 and serve a life sentence because they were found fit to stand trial. So one day you might just see me, just get five people and pay them, and we just print your poster and just walk down half a tree road. I walk in a St. Elizabeth for everybody know you. You, 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 you. Your judgment has started. You know that. Your judgment has started. All right? All when people tired of the seven day attack, and people don't want to see it no more, and people don't want to hear me no more, I'm going to still talk about it. Understand that. So, anywhere you move, I'm going to live. As long as you're around children, nobody not going to want you around them, Pitney. I have people, if you have your own them children, they're going to watch you. Me as a father, would I never allow you around my children if I were not in a situation. Just the mere fact that you can come say you don't extort them. Because you catch them and have sex. Because I don't know no Jamaican, no Jamaican bully, where bully little boys because they're fish. You see? Men who say them now have nothing. Men who say when you have bully in Jamaica, you tell the whole school say them a fish. You tell the whole community say them a fish because you are bully. You don't extort them for money and take away the money. So you can fool who you want to fool like they don't fool fool people them. You see? You don't fool me. And you don't fool educated people them. You see? Mm-hmm. Have a great night, people. Big up on yourself. Zane, one love.